Hello everyone, Professor Hatter, car unboxing. This seems like it's the only kind of video that's working out for me um, in terms of being able to just record and then just upload it. It's easier that way other than having to do all my extra um, production kind of work. So I have an unboxing here and it is from a special store, a local store from uh, Burdines and it is a hat that two ways of one I never thought I, well I never thought I would get it because of two reasons one how fast people work on the website uh, I'm going to guess that because of you know maybe an allotment of like either like leftovers from the uh, um, in-person sale versus online or if there's like a dedicated pool of uh, stock amount for online versus in-store but um, I also didn't think that this would happen because of uh, the creator uh, kind of wanting to keep the rarity of this hat which um, you know it's such a cool hat I think you should share it uh, with people well mainly me being a uh, uh, Cubs fan, you know, sharing it with actual Cubs fans. But this is the the Ginger Pack 2.0 from Polly the uh, Berdines. Yeah, so this is a kind of like a fall pack. I know it's like it's summertime, but it's fine. We're prepping already. If it's a little loose, but we can we can we can work on shrinking it. But you just had to get it. it I just had to get it. Um, I also figured getting five eighths because the all the other times that I've gotten, I wanted to go for seven and a half. It sold out for some reason. So sorry that um. Yeah, the, the, seven, the half is all that kind of fast, so I figured, well, just to avoid it, um, just get the five ace. Um, I'm kind of wish I got the seven and a half only because of how, um, you know, my my head is still a little kind of iffy-ish. I mean, I'm going off of, like the history of like some of the other uh, five ace hats I've gotten with Berdines or seven and a half hats, where it's like, well, this one was tight, this one was loose, so you know. I, yeah, it's fine. It's still okay. That it is still a really, really cool hat. Um, I have two other fall color related hats like this one um, from Berdines. I have a few other fall pack colors, and this was a big hype hat or big hype color. Uh, last fall and I am more than sure it will be back in this fall in the fall 2023 it will that either people didn't get enough of it last time or people didn't get enough hats or people didn't get the chance to get the hat last time um, I also have a real bad feeling that they're going to combine this with real tree which is going to be awful I think they already are, but real tree just still sucks. Horrible design. Only belongs on hunting hats. And that's it. So that's what I got. It's early in the morning. That's why I keep yawning. Um, yeah, but I usually do that in the videos, anyways. Um, yeah, 1990 All-Star side patch. Love that it's a green UV, especially. That really helps the uh, the colors. Uh, if it was gray, fine. If it was black, mm, green, perfect. And it's the uh, you know nice uh, button and uh, brim connection. It is a polyester 
from Bangladesh and white sweatband on the inside. But I'll find a way to shrink it somehow. Um, I'll, I'll find a way, or maybe I'll wait another five years until 3.0 comes out. Not that it was five years between one and two drop, um, but just you know the the rarity that uh, that he wants to uh, keep with the hat. Um, and personally, I am not a fan of that overall of you know keeping a hat rare. Um, again, it goes off of the, uh, the principle that I teach that the primary, not the only, the primary purpose of these hats is to root for the team on the hat. Now, of course, you know, secondary purposes, other purposes to it are, are out there as well, but the primary is to root for the Cubs, like on this hat. So, that's why... I would like it that, you know, some hats, you know, aren't as exclusive. Now, if it's a matter of production time to make them and maybe material, that I can understand. But if it's, oh, we got to keep it rare, uh, to, to be honest, I'm not, you know, the biggest, you know, guy on that kind of a block. Hit the curb. Great. Oh well. All right. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments down below if you had gotten one of these uh, bad boys. There was a uh, Provo uh, hat out there, minor league team, the PR, that uh, also came out for for him. And uh, yeah, really cool hat. Um, and the uh, oh, the the flag is tonal. I could, I could have seen it gone either way of tonal or like a brown. That would be nice. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for me. Uh, see you next time in class, everyone. Bye.